We went to Antarctica to see firsthand just how fast the world's ice is melting, and then Bangladesh to see the impact of these rising sea levels. This is my debrief. Every season of ice has had a story on global warming or sea level rise, and every season will at least have one story. Why? Because I think it's the biggest story that affects all of humanity. I think that this story, we go a little bit deeper into the debate. Why is it a debate? Why are people still saying this isn't happening? And I think that's what's frustrating, is that despite global consensus, there's a political and economic reason why people continue to deny this, even though in many cases they know the science is correct, which I find particularly insidious. So I don't think there's a way that I can wake up every morning and look in the mirror without doing stories that tell the truth about climate change. You know, I think climate change deniers are people who view themselves as they're doing a job they get paid. They get paid by big oil, they get paid by petrochemical companies, they get paid by Koch brothers, they get paid to go out there and create a feeling that this isn't actually true. The biggest problem going to the climate change denier conference was saying, well, we're gonna be journalists, you get to tell your side of the story, and then we're gonna take your story, and then we're gonna go to scientists and NASA, and we're gonna go to the top you know, experts in the world and see if, if, if that's actually true and if it holds up, which of course it doesn't. The general consensus on deniers is that there's, there's little to be done. What the scientists are saying is, you don't understand, Greenland will melt, Antarctica will melt. It's just a case of how fast. Now, if we can get off our addiction to oil and stop filling the atmosphere with carbon, then indeed we can slow that speed. If you have 10 feet of sea level rise over the course of 100 years or 200 years or 300 years, you can adapt. You can, you can you know, make sea walls, you can slowly move people, you can do things. But if you have 10 feet of sea level rise in three years, in four years, in five years, you have global economic chaos, you have migrations of people, you have destratification of power systems. It's complete madness. You can already see the effects that are happening now. Like, can you imagine what's happening in Bangladesh, happening everywhere else in the world? Well, that's in the mail. But that means we have to wake up, which is why we do pieces like this. I think what you see in Bangladesh is interesting because, as they said in the piece, it's so flat that a little tiny bit of sea level rise goes a long way. There's a lot of countries where the majority of cities are at sea level, and all of these cities are gearing up to try to combat this because they realize that you know they're in real trouble. In fact, they just had the largest United Nations meeting on the environment because politicians are waking up realizing this is probably the number one political issue that globally we have consensus on. I mean, Antarctica is massive. It's just this huge, huge, huge entity, incredibly difficult to get to, vast area, all made up of ice, which is all the fresh water we need or, or will ever need. But if we dump that into the ocean, you have exponential sea level rise. So, I mean, it's just, it's awe-inspiring and overpowering and overwhelming, and it's really hard to get across the scale, and I hope that we did a little bit of that story justice. Well, I understand why he says that, because we'd like to believe that, and I would like to believe that. And statistics have shown that, you know, 40, 50 percent of America didn't believe it was happening, and now those numbers are rapidly decreasing. I think, you know, people are finally waking up because, you know, they see it with their own eyes. And I think that as long as you have leadership saying this doesn't exist, as long as you have these, you know, paid groups and paid bloggers and paid deniers saying it doesn't exist, then you're going to get people who believe it. That's what's worrying to me, is there's still an overwhelming, huge number of people in America who believe that global warming is a hoax, who believe that sea level rise is a hoax. Why? Because their leaders have told them that, which is sad.